Hi there. This is Esther. I'm a surface designer and illustrator. I love to make art and teach others my process. In this video, we're going to talk about how to save a template in Adobe Illustrator. I don't know if you have the same experience, but a lot of times I like to start with similar settings for my Illustrator file that happens not to be in the default templates. So if that's the case for you, you can set up your own template so that you don't have to do the repetitive setting all the time. So if you open your Illustrator, you can click on create new and you will have a new document window that asks you some details. Um, you can select the default template if that happens to fit your needs. But in my case, I don't like any of those. So I'm going to start my own. You don't even have to think of a super descriptive title at this point yet, just to make sure all your numbers are right. So the width, the height, and um, the color mode and raster effects and all that. Once you're happy with that, you can click on create. By the way, if you press your keyboard key F, it will automatically maximize your Illustrator to your screen size, which is really convenient. Currently, I have like 50 different things behind it, but I can't see any of them. That's great. I like to set up my document with a clean slate. To do that, you can come over to Window and click on Actions. In the middle of the action, one of them is called Delete Unused Panel Items. If you don't see it on yours, just come over to the hamburger menu and click on Reset somewhere, Reset Actions. And select Delete Unused Panel Items and click on Play. And you will get rid of all the irrelevant colors, strokes, symbols, brushes. It's pretty neat. You can do a few setup things in here because whatever you're seeing will be saved exactly in your template. So if you have, for example, like a random window in the middle of the canvas and you forgot to close, it will be saved as part of the information as well. So make sure you're pretty strategic about your planning. For example, if you really like to use some tool, you want to stack it somewhere on the right over here. You can just grab that window and then hover it until you see the blue line and let go. So in that case, you will have your window stacked over there. And similarly, when you want to get rid of something that you're not using, you can just drag it out and then close it that way. So make sure everything is tailored to your taste and you can come over to file and save as template. Honestly, this is the trickiest part because it will prompt you to a um, folder that's called template. And over here, you can rename your file to whatever. For example, um, I'm just going to rename mine based on the numbers. And if you click on save without changing your location, you will have a warning window come up right after this. It says, can't save the illustration. You do not have enough access privileges. Honestly, I don't even know why this location is being offered if it's not available. The correct way to go around it is to come over to File, Save as a Template, and create your own location for all your templates. So I'm going to go over to my file and maybe my templates over here. And, and you can name it to whatever. Wow, seems like I already have something that is the same size. So I'm actually going to change my artboard to make it a square. So what I did is to press Shift O and change my width to 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels and press Selection Tool to get rid of the artboard edit tool. So if you have a few templates that you use often, this is a good time to save them as a templates in batch because you already got rid of all the extra bells and whistles that you don't need. Come over to File and Save as Template. In this case, I'm going to go back to my templates 
folder that is in my own location, not by default. So I'm going to do 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels and add 300 PPI. The default extension is AIT, stands for Adobe Illustrator template, and you can click on save. Voila, technically you're done. So whenever you want to use your template and you can bring out your finder and come over to your templates folder and just double click that thing. Find your templates folder and just double click. Whatever changes that you made to your canvas, say that this is a beautiful illustration that you had and you can just save from here by pressing command S and it will save as illustrator file. And you can name it or whatever. So that's basically how you work with Adobe Illustrator templates. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to reach out to me. Or if you have a better workflow, I would love to know about it. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you would like to grow your design and illustration skills, I would love for you to check out my Skillshare classes, where I teach my design process in depth. In the description box, you will find a link that will give you two months for free.